Welcome to Lululand. We're all so happy to have you, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you probably either never noticed or never knew existed. I'm Callan, and I'm here to tell you some interesting stories about what goes on in your local theme parks. Today we're talking about fight, fight, fight! That's right, theme park fights. A lot of people think that coming to a theme park means that your day is going to be full of happiness and sunshine, but they forget the stress of lines, being in big crowds, crying children, the mid-vacation meltdown, which I'll cover in another video, and so many other stressful things that even include other guests being assholes. Sometimes theme parks are great. Sometimes when you go, it's like you're surrounded by a storm that you can't get out of. For example, I remember a day that I went to Lulu World, don't tell Mammon, where I was run over by six strollers. And then on the way out, somebody had one of those little folding umbrella strollers with the curved handles. Yeah, that thing hooked onto my hoodie and not only choked me, but yanked me in the opposite direction of my friends as they were all mass exiting the park. Now, I just kind of brushed it all off probably because I'm kind of a pushover, but not all people manage to do that. Some people will just straight up start swinging at each other, and sometimes you will have no context as to why. I remember at one point, I was working in one of the merch locations here in the park. I was inside, it was slow, I had no one in my store, everything was clean, I had nothing to do. So I found myself gazing out the window, cleaning some jewelry and pretending that I was doing something, as you do when you have nothing to do at work. I see what looks like a family walking outside, probably about, I don't know, like 20 feet away from my store. Everything looks fine. They're all chatting, they look like they're having a decent time. Then out of nowhere, two of the guys start swinging fists at each other. And you can bet your ass I perked right up and I was damn near glued to that window watching. The rest of the family moved far away and these two dudes were just duking it out right then and there. Now, I didn't have a radio or a phone at the time, so I couldn't call security. However, the little ice cream place across the walkway did. So I dropped fake working, ran across the street to them because they didn't have windows and couldn't see what was going on, and instead of sounding concerned or, you know, done with their shit, I burst through the door like, hey guys, there's a fight outside, call security, before running back to my store and sitting back at the window to watch the rest of it go down. I get really excited about fights as long as I'm not involved in them. <laughs> Those poor ice cream parlor workers were so confused, but they evidently called security. Not like I, you know, stuck around to find out. Eventually security showed up. The guys stopped on their own because they saw security and panicked probably. And that was that. I never did find out what happened. But I have one more story for you guys. And unfortunately there's no way I can sugarcoat this one. This is a social distancing story. All right, so this actually happened when I was working at one of my rides. I was actually in the break room having my lunch, and then suddenly one of the other employees came in looking very distraught going, he's trailing blood all down the queue ramp. Obviously, they had my attention. I tried to ask her what happened, but she was running around like a chicken with her head cut off trying to deal with multiple situations at once. Everything had gone crazy in a matter of seconds, apparently. So what had happened was, Family A was waiting in line. Family B was waiting in line behind them. Family B was way too close to Family A, and A told B to back off. B refused to back off, so a guy from A pushed someone's mom in Family B. Mom's son didn't like that, so he pushed A back, and then the two guys from A and B started an all-out brawl right there in the line, surrounded by people, and one of the two, I honestly don't remember, but I want to say it was the guy from Family B, got his nose broken. So then they continued to wait in line and trailed blood all down the ramp, while a few of my coworkers rushed around because they had been told about the fight by other guests and the police were called. Meanwhile, literally at the same time, I'm not sure if you guys remember me talking about the guy punching the height stick when I talked about height requirements. Yeah, this was the day. That happened at literally the same time. So one coworker was trying to deal with that guy, and my supervisors were now trying to deal with the cops and two families that hated each other, and a blood trail that needed to be cleaned up. You have to be specially trained to clean up blood spills, by the way. Not just anyone is allowed to touch it. Something about lawsuits or whatever. So this surely can't be as crazy of a situation as I made it out to be, right? I even thought they were exaggerating at first. Until I left my break and I ran right into one of the families talking to the cops. 
They had been pulled off to the side and were blocking my main pathway to my next position. There was a pair of broken sunglasses on the floor and the guy was holding what looked like wet wipes to his broken, bleeding nose. At this point, they had been fully separated and the families were being talked to in different areas. So once I got past the first family, I ran into the second family. That day was a wild ride. That asshole also left bloody tissues in that part of our queue that we then had to also try to figure out how to clean up. And this stuff happens a lot more frequently than you'd realize that it does. Well, my bump is here. I'm clocking out. I'll see you all Lulu later.